Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Capricorn. So Capricorn, this is going to be your bonus February 2019 uh, monthly extra messages. So I'm doing this, um, I do not, because I do not do mid-month readings, so I thought it might help to go ahead and do an extra bonus monthly reading in case your monthly reading didn't resonate or you still need further clarification hopefully this will give you the answers that you need and further clarification for that all right i've also pulled an animal spirit oracle and the universe has your back oracle card as well i am using the gilded tarot and we are ready capricorn so let's go ahead and let's see what spirit has for you this month. See what extra messages we can get. Four Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Beautiful. First card out, we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. Oh, I cannot believe this, you guys. All right. The Nine of Pentacles has come out for Taurus, Virgo, and now you in the same spot. So, wow. That's, uh, that's amazing right there. Queen of Pentacles. Death. The Hermit. Alright. And the overall energy is the Knight of Swords. Alright. So, Capricorn, this is a lovely reading here. All right, let's go ahead and start with the Knight of Swords. Uh, this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, this is a knight. He rushes in. He saves no one's feelings. Uh, he speaks his truths. Um, he goes after what he feels is right in his mind. Um, this... Uh, this is very fast and quick movement. You guys could be traveling maybe this month as well. But I just feel like overall you guys are going to be speaking what's on your mind this month, uh, Capricorn. Uh, I feel like you are on top of your game of you're not going to be taking the back seat. When you have something to say, you're going to say it. So I feel like you're taking the wheel this month and driving. All right. So, this, in this position, represents you this month. So, this is Major Arcana, Will of Fortune, Capricorn. So, you know, when this shows up, and this is in, is card represents you, the Will of Fortune is, is a faded event, okay? This is, it, it, you know, this is something that's going to happen no matter what. Now, I always look at this as the Will of Fate, I feel like this, you know, is moving in your favor. This is a faded situation, and you know it is. I feel like you're already aware of that. That could be why this uh, speaking your truth is coming out real strongly here. You are being guided by the divine uh, with this um, faded uh, energy here, with this, uh, what this will of fortune is about. And to me, this is a success. This is moving forward. This is, um, you know, things, I, you know, karma is going to start going in your favor if it hasn't in the past. Okay, you guys. So if things haven't been going your way, it, you fix it. It's all fixing to change. Now, what's benefiting you right now is the Two of Cups. This is like the Soulmate card. This is uh, commitment as well. Um, so this is what's benefiting you. This could be, uh, also represent a contract. All right, maybe with a someone you have or a contract that you're waiting on to uh, hear back on, you know, whether it's business, uh, whether it has to do uh, maybe with your finances, work. Um, like I said, this could be twin flame energy as well. Now, what you need to know is you're going to have clarity this month. There's going to be a truth here. And like I said, you're speaking your truth, okay? You're talking about what you're believing in to everybody this month. And everybody's going to hear you. Because you have clarity on your truth. You know whatever it is that this has to do with, you know you're right. And you're speaking your truth about it, okay? You've had clarity on it. 
and this is a new beginning for you uh, to step up, I feel like, and be able to have this opportunity. Um, in the past, you might have been wronged by someone, Capricorn. Uh, somebody may have broke your contract. Somebody may have broke a personal commitment, a significant other, but you are in the right here. You have, there's a truth to this situation and you own it, okay? Now, like I said, this is beautiful energy right here. Nine of Pentacles, okay? Uh, this is, she's in the Garden of Eden in there, right there. She's enjoying the fruits of her labor. She is an independent woman. She has stability, structure in her life. Um, and it's just, I really do feel like this could have been, you know, you could have gotten a divorce from someone, um, is what I'm getting here, or broke up with someone that you thought was your twin flame. I feel like there's been a commitment of some, whether it's on the relationship or business front, it's been broken, Capricorn, and it's already happened, and this is benefiting you right now. So it, it this it wasn't your twin flame, it, you know, and the wheel of karma is moving in. Uh, you know, the wheel of fortune is karma, and it's it's moving in your favor. Okay, it's. It's helping you. You have clarity on the truth of this. Some of you might be going to divorce court. Some of you might be fighting over um, a home or car or assets or whatever. And you are going to receive justice on this because you have the truth sword here. You have clarity. You can prove where you were wronged is what I'm getting at. All right, Capricorn. You have 100% undeniable truth, okay, in this situation. Now... In your challenging position right here is the Queen of Pentacles. This is, she's, you know, very practical, very, you know, this is Taurus, uh, Virgo Capricorn. I feel like this is you maybe being challenged this month um, with being practical. Um, she's very stable. She has stability. She has a lot to offer. Um, she has tangible. She's holding that coin there, okay? Um she this is being very grounded you may be having a problem with grounding yourself this month okay and it's very important that you make sure that you are grounded you may have a lot of this air mentality energy going in with you and you might be just like literally speaking the truth maybe in kind of a harsh way and maybe that's what's needed but spirit is wanting you to know to ground yourself at the same time okay because this is, you know, your element. You are a dependable, loyal uh, person, individual, okay? And ground yourself so that shows through. Because whoever's wronged you in this situation or broke their commitment, the truth is out. And, you know, it's, there's, you know, sometimes we can be really really harsh or come at others and, and you know sometimes don't get me wrong sometimes people do deserve it but we do have to think about the consequences or maybe our actions on how we handle things as well capricorn now the uh new circumstance is the death card all right this is the ending all right this is the end of it okay and this is transformation here so you've got a major situation going on here and it's the ending it's going to be the end of this uh whatever whoever broke this commitment how you know this is gonna be different like i said for everybody this could be a relationship romantically this could be a friendship uh partnership business work Whatever it is, it's ending, okay? It's the end of it. It's the death of it. It's over. And what's going to happen is in the outcome is Capricorn, you're going to go. Um, this is the card of Virgo as well, and this is Scorpio. You are going to go um, and within. You're going to seek out your own inner wisdom and knowledge to help you transform and get through this situation in order to move forward. Um, I feel like you're a very independent person, who, whoever this message is for. And I feel like, you know, you you go by the light, you know, your own inner light. You know, you don't go by what the outside world goes by. You go by your own inner truths, okay? And I feel like you hold a lot of wisdom within yourself as well and knowledge. 
and I feel like you're going to be able to ground yourself and you're going to be able to go within and be able to make this ending and a new transformation um, like a butterfly coming out of a cocoon and flying. That's what's going to happen here. And this is just beautiful. I mean, there's been some type of, like I said, disagreement, something, uh, commitment, something's been broken off. And you know what? You're going to bounce right back from it, Capricorn. You're going to bounce right back. All right, your animal spirit, beautiful peacock spirit, let it shine. That's what I'm talking about. And look at this, you guys. Four plus six is ten. I'm telling you, endings here, endings. Let it shine. Beautiful. Let your heart shine, you guys. You see that? Let your heart shine. Ground yourself. Don't let this, uh, don't let this commitment breaking, how, whatever this was, don't let this wound your soul or bruise your heart to where, um, don't let it harden your heart is what I'm trying to say, okay? Um, not everyone is like that, all right? Um, ground yourself this month. Ground yourself. All right, Capricorn. My faith has the power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. My gosh, what was I just saying? You guys, you got this, Capricorn. All right, it doesn't make the pain or whatever this conflict any less harder. But you know what, you guys? You got this. You, I mean, you guys are like tough. And this, you know, you're speaking your inner truth here. You've got the sort of truth. You, you know, this other person was wrong. Um, it, this is beautiful. And you will be seeking out your own inner wisdom. And you will, I, I feel like 100%, you are going to be able to let that light shine. Let your heart chakra be able to receive and still give love and not let it be hardened. All right, Capricorn, please let me know. I do read all my comments, you guys. I think you know that by now. Um, please comment. I would like to know how these resonate with you. Um, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I would not be here without you um, watching my videos. And I just thank you so much. And I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, you guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, Capricorn.